back to the channel. Guys, this is crazy. This is week two of Mo Tuesdays, and today's announcement has really, really got me excited. Oh my gosh, everybody. Holy crap. I can't believe what was announced today. Guys, I really have to thank uh, friends of the channel Armando and, of course, James, who keep me up to date of all of these new announcements that are coming uh, fast and furious pretty much every week. This is absolutely amazing. But guys, without further ado, let's dive right into this and find out exactly what happened today at Mode Tuesday. But just before we get started, if you enjoy this type of content, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Well, guys, without further ado, let's dive right into this and see exactly what happened and what was announced on Mo Tuesday today. I think you'll be very, very excited to see which two, that's right, two characters got announced today. <laughs> let's have a look. I am so excited about this. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot about Mo Tuesdays. <laughs> If it wasn't for uh, friends of the channel, Armando and James, who have been keeping me up to date and, you know, really keeping me on my toes in terms of, like, what's been going on with the Master Universe Mo Tuesdays and, of course, the 40th anniversary uh, celebration of the Master Universe, I gotta tell you, this one went completely over my head. So I'm super, super excited and super grateful that those two guys really kept me in the loop. Guys, thank you so much again. This was an amazing, amazing reveal. I... I am absolutely super excited about this announcement. Holy crap, everybody. On Instagram, on the Masters official Instagram uh, page. Guys, this is crazy. Of course, this is Mo, uh, Mo Tuesdays. And if we scroll down, <laughs> Skeletor is keeping us up to date as to what's happening with the next Mo Tuesday announcement. And check it out, everybody. This is crazy. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. One of my favorite villains of all time, Too Bad. Too Bad is coming to the Masterverse line. Oh my gosh. The, the announcement goes on to say, get ready because Skeletor has some pretty good bad news. We are releasing Too Bad oversized for the double action. Oh my gosh. It's Too Bad's first appearance in the Masterverse and it comes with multiple accessories like a vintage mace, armor, and two headed axe. Oh my god, guys. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Let's take a deep dive into this. I, you know, take, take a look at this. Everybody, everybody's excited. Uh, Mattel continue, goes on to say, can Skeletor deliver all of our news from now on? <laughs> and somebody just replied, yes, please. People are going crazy, clapping. This is lit. Smeddy45 says, this was my, one of my favorite uh, favorites as a kid, and I loved that they brought him out to two, into 2000, uh, 2000X. I can't wait for him to be available. This is awesome. Astro Rocket says, I need this in my life. AM Comic 2 says, this is great. PM, PMC Pencil says, I love Too Bad. He looks amazing. And Kevin Onarza says, the hype is real. Holy crap, everybody. All right. Let's, let's take a deep dive into this, guys, because this, this is absolutely amazing news. I can't believe that we finally get Too Bad in the Masterful Design. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. There he is, everybody. There is Too Bad. Presented, of course, by Skeletor, the Lord of Evil. This is so amazing. I love the fact that Skeletor is the one presenting all these brand new uh, figures on a, on a whiteboard, of all things. Like, he's literally projecting onto the screen. This is just freaking so much fun. If we zoom in on here, we can see Too Bad. Oh, my gosh. He really was one of my favorite characters growing up as a kid he, he was just so weird he had this huge torso he had these two arms and and you know what i'm gonna get to my joke a little later but he really did look so unique in terms of what was available for master universe so weird it really came out at a time when masters was at the, the peak of its popularity and i think that a character like this could only be made around that time let's let's take let's take a bit of a closer look here he is with his two signature heads. Oh my gosh. Obviously, he's split literally right down the middle uh, in terms of his two personalities. He's got his blue, uh, and they both look sort of Aquarian. You know what I mean? They 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 look almost as if they're 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 you know. Uh, well, I, I guess I guess the 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 left side looks more like he's uh, you know some sort of reptilian, but the 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 right side definitely he he's look he's looking like he's he's some sort of Aquarian. Um, I'm not even. Do they have names? I I don't I don't even know. As far as I know, they're just called Too Bad, right? Somebody somebody um, uh, help me in the comment section below. I can't remember anymore. 
You can see his wonderful mace that's strapped to his back in freaking incredible. I love the armor. It's just so indicative of too bad. Now, here's something very interesting, and we'll get to this in a second. It looks as if, to me, that he can actually separate uh, the, the, the the armor. Not, not, not that he can separate, but the armor can actually be separated uh, from his body. That's incredible, because the original too bad, you could not do that. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody remind me in the comment section below, were you able to to do that with Master, uh, with Master Universe Classics? Not 100% sure on that. He comes with a upper um, bicep, um, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, a pauldron, which looks amazing. Uh, it kind of hangs off his shoulder a little bit. Not sure how I feel about that, but it does look a lot of fun. Um, I love the split down the middle. It looks like, uh, you know, the original character, his split down the middle was literally just straight down. This one looks as if he's sort of melding together with his other, with his brother here. It looks ridiculous. I love the facial sculpt as well. We can see two little slits on the red eyes of the of the of the blue too bad and of the purple too bad. He's got no 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 irises, no slits. But I love the the golden uh, brow that he's got. That's just amazing. I love the sculpts here. Like you know the, the different sorts of, of ears, which is very indicative of the original toy. I love the scales on purple too bad, and I love the blue nature of of, of blue too bad. He looks amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh. And of course, Blue Too Bad had that gauntlet. Uh, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's not robotic. I think it's just a metal gauntlet that he was wearing, uh, you know, uh, just to differentiate him from, from Purple Too Bad. And Purple Too Bad doesn't even have a gauntlet. He's just got a, a, a um, um, what's it called? A forearm, uh, what's it called? A wrist, uh, ri um, what was that thing called again? It's a, uh, ah, I can't remember, but it basically it fits on his wrist and it... <sighs> I'm just so excited about this, guys. I'm li literally at a loss for words, honestly, to be perfectly honest. And he's got that... Um, it, he's got some heraldry here. <laughs> I don't remember if that was actually on the original toy, if he actually had any heraldry on his belt. Uh, but it looks like he comes from a, a, a noble house uh, of Too Bad. Is that a thing? Is the Too Bad house an actual noble house? That's interesting. I wonder if there's an entire race of Too Bads. That would be really cool to find out about that. If somebody knows about that from the two from the two thousand X series, please let me know. I love the fact that you know he's two he's always uh, you know two sides of of of, uh, of a person, right? Very much in the same vein as um, you know Two Face, where he has you know uh, everything about him, uh, ex uh, you know, is different. Even the two sides of his armor, the two sides of his belt. Seriously, this is so indicative of the original toy. It's not even funny. Seems like he's got an additional weapon. It looks like a blaster of some sort, and it's got a holster as well. In freaking sane. I'm loving this, guys. I'm totally, totally in love with this because, again, he was one of my absolute favorite characters as a kid. Look at all this crazy stuff he comes with. This is definitely going to be a deluxe figure. I cannot see this being anything but a deluxe figure. Let's zoom in here. And Skeletor is like, well, of course he is. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, he looks, he looks, he looks absolutely boss. Oh my gosh. You can take off his straps. Yes. Yes, you can take off his straps. I love the fact that he's not. Uh, completely symmetrical. He's very asymmetrical uh, in pretty much every single way. Uh, you know, obviously his left and his right side do not match at all. Uh, the scales, uh, you know, the, the, even even what he's wear, wearing, you know, the the actual uh, metallic, uh, you know, the, the metallic boot, the metallic um, gauntlet, right? Um, you his shin pad over here, right? It, it's crazy. And there's his red belt. That's what I remember as a kid. He had a he had this wonderful crimson belt wonderful but now we can see his entire chest and we see oh the the separation between the two and the fact that yeah i i, I don't know if he's a parasite or not but he you know uh purple too bad looks like he's literally growing out of blue too bad i, I don't know if it was a curse or if, if skeletor got pissed off at two of his henchmen and like melded them together i don't know the story but behind too bad somebody if somebody actually knows the story behind too bad please please let me know he looks freaking freaking amazing oh my god just crazy he comes with a host of accessories, including a mace. Some people like to call it a morning star. He comes with this incredible two-headed axe. Of course, once again, with the heraldry of Too Bad and the two different personality uh, axe heads. Crazy. He comes with a blaster. He comes with a flail. Oh, which is wonderful. Has two different heads on there, too. He comes with his removable straps. His signature shield. Yes! That's what I've always uh, known Too Bad for, because he, he couldn't actually hold any weapons. He only had a shield. That was most, the most hilarious thing ever. He comes with that really cool belt, and, of course, that shoulder pauldron. 
in freaking credible my god this is amazing he's definitely like you know and, and as far as far as anything else is concerned he is going to be a deluxe figure that's actually worth the price considering everything else that we've been seeing lately that have been released you know hordak is he's okay in terms of like the overall pressure structure for his for his deluxe but shira i'm sorry I have to call a spade a spade. Shira is just lacking in accessories in terms of what she's coming with for a deluxe figure. And this really makes up for that. Look at all this stuff. I'm scared to find out what the price point on this guy is. I hope he stays within the price point of a deluxe figure as it is right now. But time will tell. He looks he looks freaking incredible. Oh my god, guys. This is absolutely insane. Oh, I forgot to mention... <laughs> One of my favorite things about Too Bad in the original toy is that he, the way his fists were um, positioned, he would be able to punch himself in the face on either side. And I always used to play that game of stop hitting yourself with Too Bad. So honestly, that just killed me. Guys, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Honestly, he was my absolute favorite character. Villainous character. Villainous character. As a kid, I couldn't get enough of him. Quite literally, I would just, for hours and hours and hours, I would be like, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting... Because that was exactly what it was. The right fist could hit the, 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 the left face, and the left face could hit the right, uh, the right face. It was absolutely bonkers. Guys, what are your thoughts on this new Too Bad character for the Mass Universe Masterverse series. Are you guys as excited as I am? Because I am absolutely thrilled about this. Are you guys a little bit scared, like I am, just a little bit, about the price point on this? I really, I really am crossing my fingers that it's going to be pretty decent. But are you also excited that this particular character has way more accessories than more recent offerings for, for deluxe figures? Because that to me is pretty damn cool. Guys, please leave those comments in the comment section below. I hope you guys are all doing well. Staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power, everybody. We have the power. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, geez. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> it's just too bad. <laughs> Keep proud, everybody. Keep proud. Oh. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. RyRatCan33, Old IT Guy, Princess Kagali, John Joker, Michael Traverso, Christopher Herndon, Snell World, Thomas Meyer, Budrick Porter, and Joseph Michaels. Thank you for all your support, everybody. It really means a lot to me and really does help the channel to keep going.